Debbie Ocean, Sandra Bullock, attends a parole hearing at the beginning of the movie. Her notorious brother Danny recently passed away, and she has spent the last five years behind bars. Debbie claims she is more than prepared to reintegrate into society and carry on leading a simple life. After being freed, Debbie's first move is to pretend to be returning some items while actually pinching a number of items from a department store in New York City. She then pretends to be a member of a couple who just checked out while remaining at a hotel. Ruben Tishkoff, Elliot Gould, who she encounters on her subsequent stops, appears at Danny's tomb and informs Debbie that she is not required to do whatever she is about to do. In addition, Debbie seeks out her former boyfriend Claude Becker, Richard Armitage, an art dealer who also turned on her and resulted in her being jailed. She encounters him in an art gallery and threatens him with a toothbrush made shiv, but she only removes a button from his shirt. Debbie meets up with her former crime partner Lou, Kate Blanchett, a bartender at which she and her cronies are diluting vodka. Debbie reveals to Lou a new plan of hers for which she needs Lou's assistance. They go to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, where Debbie is organizing a heist in preparation for the upcoming Met Gala. Lou also gives Debbie permission to stay with her. The Toussaint diamond necklace, valued at $150 million, is the target of the scheme. Debbie plans to wear it to the Met Gala where it can be taken by using snobby socialite Daphne Kluger and Hathaway as the mule. Debbie must first gather a team in order to pull this off. Debbie and Lou search for Rose while Helena Bonham Carter, a former well-known local fashion designer whose work is no longer as well-known. When the two come across Rose, she is sobbing and munching on Nutella when they suggest to her the idea of working for herself. After that, Debbie meets up with Amita, Mindy Kaling, an old friend who works and lives with her mother and is an Indian jewelry maker. When Debbie tells her that she won't have to live with her mother after this, she immediately joins her. Then Lou introduces Debbie to Nine Ball, Rihanna, a computer hacker who proves how skilled she is by breaking into the building's power line. Then, Constance Wong, Aquafina, a street hustler skilled in pickpocketing, is discovered by Debbie and Lou. Finally, Debbie calls another old friend, Tammy, Sarah Paulson, who is living a happy suburban life with her family. Debbie soon discovers that Tammy's garage is filled with many stolen items. Tammy also joins. The seven women gather at Lou's loft, where Debbie shares the strategy with the group, including how they intend to snoop around the Met Gala to steal the necklace and make each woman rich within three weeks. The ladies arrange for Rose to meet Penelope Stern, Dakota Fanning, a famous designer who might be able to dress her for the gala at a nearby restaurant first. Daphne arranges a meeting with Rose so that she can dress her after seeing their meeting in the tabloids. Then they make plans for Rose and Amita to meet with the Toussaint so that they can persuade them to agree to let Daphne wear the necklace to the gala. The women provide Rose with special glasses so that she can scan the necklace and send the data to a 3D printer, which will produce a zirconium replica of the necklace that they will exchange for the original. When Daphne finally gets to wear the necklace, Rose learns that a special magnet is required to remove it. Nine calls her sister, who is aware of the best method for removing the necklace without the help of that specific magnet. After Tammy is hired as the event coordinator, the crew joins the event as staff members. She hires Lou, Amita, and Constance to work in the kitchen. In order to view the seating plans for the event, Nine Ball breaks into the computer of a staff member. Debbie intends to introduce Claude to Daphne so that she can ask him out on a date. Lou then understands Debbie is attempting to frame Claude as part of a vengeance plot. A flashback takes place 10 years ago, when Debbie and Claude first met and clicked. He led her into a fraud scheme, and it was his testimony against her that landed her in jail. Lou is reassured by Debbie that her task is only to obtain the necklace. The Met Gala's opening night has come. Serena Williams, Katie Holmes, Gigi Hadid, Heidi Klum, Common, and Kim Kardashian are among the well-known attendees who are all dressed as themselves. The group assumes their roles, with Debbie using her fluency in German to pose as a German socialite with blonde hair dye. After Debbie arranged for them to meet and click, Daphne shows up with Claude as her date. Daphne runs to the bathroom and throws up after Lou adds something to her soup. While she has her head in the toilet, Constance is able to remove the necklace from her. She hands the necklace to Amita, who begins separating the diamonds from the necklace while she uses a staff restroom. The necklace is missing, 
which Daphne's bodyguards discover when she exits the bathroom. They secure the area while they look for it. Tammy takes out the fake zirconium necklace and hands it over before a guard can locate Amita. The rest of the crew is then given the diamonds by Constance before they all leave through the doors. The fake necklace is found early the following morning. James Corden's character, John Frazier, an insurance fraud investigator, joins the investigation because he is aware of Debbie and her family's background as well as the fact that she was present at the event. As suspects, Claude, Daphne's security personnel, and Gala staff are all spoken to by Frazier. He then speaks with Daphne and even Debbie herself, who virtually confirms that it was a plot for retribution. When Daphne walks in, the women are at their cover. Since Rose was recording the day they learned about the magnet, Debbie and Lou admitted they called her in because she was beginning to figure out their plan. Since Daphne doesn't have many female friends and finds this to be exciting, she is actually eager to join. Claude's situation is made worse when four elderly women have their valuables placed in his possession along with some of the diamonds that Daphne later planted as evidence in his apartment. Claude is imprisoned. The group rejoices in their accomplishment, but Daphne notes that it wasn't a great idea to steal one necklace and divide it eight ways. Debbie then says, during the lockdown, they stole every necklace from the gala. The amazing Yen, Shabachin, who helped Lu secure the items, assisted Lu by easily navigating the laser detectors. The women split up to do whatever they wanted with all the money they wanted, with a new boyfriend, Amita relocates to Paris. Rose opens her own clothing store. Constance acquires a home of her own in the city. Tammy establishes and runs a warehouse with additional stolen goods. Nine Ball keeps up her hacking activities. Becomes a movie director, Daphne, and even directs Anne Hathaway. Lou purchases a motorcycle and travels across the country by herself. In the epilogue, Debbie returns to Danny's graveside carrying a martini and saying, you would have loved it.